praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakwarash, Yahweh is who the word ignorantly calls God, in the name of his son Yahweh Shai, who the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ, in the name of the Harakakwadash, the Holy Spirit. I would also like to give a double honors unto my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere shalom unto the hopeful elect that are scattered throughout the four winds of the world, unto the servants, the prophets, the true men of the Lord that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine. Unto you, I say shalom. More shall perish than be saved, all right? And this is a direct quote or sort of a direct quote from the scripture here in 2nd Ezra 9 and 15, where you're going to see it as these plagues increase, you're going to, as the plagues that are sent by Yahweh Shai, the famine, you know, the earthquakes, the disaster, natural disasters, okay, the, the, the pestilence, all right, you know, uh, people getting gunned down, shot down, beat down in the streets. As these things increase, you're going to see a lot more people. More people are going to perish than that's going to be saved, all right? You look at the population of the world. I don't know, it's 8 billion people or so, but just in America alone, it's 300, over 330 million, all right? You're going to see over... Possibly 200 million people die, perish. And, and, and they're just talking about this in America, worldwide. You may see over five, 5 billion people die. I don't know the numbers, but the numbers are going to be astronomical. It's going to be, you know, you know how some natural disasters happen or, uh, um, you know, something of so-called epic proportions happen in the world where you see a bunch of people may perish, may die. It's going to, and it may be just one, it's central to one section or one area. It may just be in Africa, but this is going to be global, okay? Where you're going to see, you may see a community of 20,000 people and maybe a family survive, all right, which are of the elect, because that's the only ones that are going to survive these plagues, these calamities that are going to come. And everyone's going to have questions. Everyone will go, one, the main question everyone wants to know is why. Well, why is this happening? It's happening because our people, Israelites, two-thirds of our people are wicked. This devil, Esau, Edom, has been ruling in wickedness, and his time is up. And the Heavenly Father is 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 upset with with all the wickedness in this world, all right? The Heavenly Father is, 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 is fed up, okay? And he's only saving a remnant, or it, it is, it's his chosen, his elect, okay? And everyone else is going to perish, and not everyone in the world is going to perish, but it's going to be a lot more that perish than that be saved. All right, so let me hop right into it. This is Second Ezra chapter 9 and verse 15. I have, Let me see. Yeah, yeah. I have said before and now do speak, and I will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which be saved, like as a wave is greater than a drop. All right, so you you come on, you can come a, a wave of a wave of water versus a drop. That that's the that's giving you a a, a clue, all right, a, a measurement, all right, of those that are going to be saved versus those that perished. All right, imagine you go in a supermarket or a Costco or a Sam's Club or something, and all those people in there, say on a holiday or, or you know, or, or, you know, uh, 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 the days before a holiday and people are buying stuff, all those people in there perish, but maybe one, all right? Or you go to an amusement park, you go to Disneyland and all those thousands of people there, or you go to a ball game or a concert and maybe one person makes it, but everyone else in there perishes, everyone else in there dies. That's the that's the type of, or everyone in there dies, okay? that That's the type of, that's the type of judgment, that's the type of great death that is coming here to America, to America, to other parts of the world also. All right, amongst these other nations too. All right, these other nations are going to catch it, but Jake, you Israelites are going to catch it the worst. All right, you're going to catch it the worst because our people, you know, our people are right behind Esau in wickedness. Okay, they're right behind these devils in wickedness. All right, um, let me jump over to um, second answer eight. Um, let me see. I just read this real quick. And he answered me and saying, he answered me saying, the most high have made this world for many, but the world to come for few. This world is made for many. This world is made for many to, you know, just just, just do what they want. That whole living that whole do as thou will spirit. But the world to come is for few. All right. And, and that few is speaking of the elect. All right. The elect that's going to enter into the kingdom of heaven 
all right, uh, uh, coming down out of those ships, all right, are, are, are not going to have to be born in the kingdom of heaven, all right? This world is made for, for you can do whatever you want in this world. That's why this place got to be destroyed. It's no, it's no, no order here. It's just nothing but confusion, all right? The law of the heavenly father doesn't go forth, all right? These people aren't living and don't even reverence the heavenly father. They don't, people, these people don't care about the heavenly father and in, in, in his in his uh, in his laws and his statutes, that's why that's the judgment, harsh death, great death is the only remedy. That's the only remedy for these people. All right, and, and you know it, it, you know people will you know people think that you know the Most High, they you know they they've given the Most High this image of an all loving and all caring, and God doesn't hate the, the the sinner; He just hates the sin and all that bullshit that Christianity pushes out. You're going to see the the, 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 the the Most High, Yahweh of the Old Testament, where he's putting thousands upon hundreds of thousands of people to flight, all right, where he told the angel, and and, and, and that's going to happen again. Let me grab this. Um, before I'm, I'm going to go back to uh, the Apocrypha, I'm going to grab this. This is going to happen again. This happened during the time of, um, um, uh, 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 what was it? The time about the Babylon, uh, the 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 Babylonian captivity, Ezekiel nine. That's where it is. Ezekiel nine. I just started at the top. Uh, the vision of slaughter. He cried also in my ears with a loud voice, saying, "Cause them that have charge over the city to draw near. Every man with his destroying weapon in his hand. And behold, six men came from the way of of the higher gate, which lieth toward the north. And every man a slaughter weapon in his hand, and one man among them with clothes." with linen and a writer's inkhorn in his side and went and they went in and stood beside beside the brazen altar and the glory of the most high of Israel was gone up from the cherubim whereupon he was in the and the, to the threshold of the house and he called to the man clothed with white linen which had a writer's inkhorn on his by his side and the Lord said unto him go through the midst of the city this is the Lord speaking to an angel Okay, it was six of them, all right? To go to the, to the midst of Jerusalem and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. This is the prophets, all right, now. All right, set a, set a mark. Then that means a mark of exemption because those men are crying out. Those men are sighing and crying for all the wickedness that be done in this place, America, and all throughout the world. All right, that and, and today, who's sighing and crying? The prophets. Who Who cares? about the, the the wickedness that's going on all right who who's about their father's work who's about uh, a you know a, a being a, a a true messenger for the lord the the prophets the men of the lord the, these niggas ain't out here giving you this truth all right you, you know our people the the the, the so-called leaders of our people they don't they don't care about uh, um uh, uh, uh salvation or, or whether you you know or the well-being of you jakes the prophets really care prophets are, are the ones giving you the warning all right, you got these rich niggas and these these entertainers and ball players. They don't care about you, all right. Um, but the prophets are the ones that that truly care. We only care about the elect, all right. We're not here for everyone. We're only here for the elect. And to the others, he said in my hearing, "Go ye after through the city and smite. Let not your eye spare, neither have ye pity." And that was, that same death angel is going to be on the loose again, all right. The Lord is just holding back the destruction. As it says in, um, I'm going to read, I'm going to come back to that. As it says right here in our Revelations um, 7. Yeah, 7 and 1. And these, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, and the that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending, excuse me. I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power, and he cried with a loud voice to the four angels whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea, saying, Hurt not the earth, not the earth, nor neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of the Most High Yahweh in their foreheads. All right, the servants, once the servants, the elect are sealed, that's when these deaf angels are going to get busy. That's when you're going to see mass death. Okay, it's going to be so much death. You go, it's going to be just bodies on body. Ain't going to be nobody. To, uh, ain't going to be no funerals. Ain't going to be in no uh, 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 morgues and all that shit. You saw during the C19 that the morgues were so full they had to re they had to rent 
meat trucks to put the bodies in. All right. So, it, you know, and that was just, and that was some, 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 you know, some, some psyop type shit. All right, this ain't gonna be no psyop when the heavenly Father ultimately sends his judgment. It's gonna just people's gonna be dying. You ain't gonna know a motherfuckers dead. They's gonna be in their house dead. The whole family dead. Okay, and you, all you gonna know they gonna know they dead because of the smell. That's it. Okay, it, it, people don't even. You know, people don't even, you, you, you speak of dead bodies, you think like, oh, someone's going to take the body, you're going to have the uh, uh, the coroner come, and like, no, these people are going to, when they do, drop dead, that's where they're going to lie, that's where they're going to be, whether they got, they get gunned down, shot down, pestilence, they starve to death, they get mauled down by a, a, a wild animal, or whatever it is, whatever their judgment is, all right, but this judgment's going forth, and, and that's the message that the, the prophets are ultimately here to tell you, we ain't got to go to sugarcoat it. All right, you got a lot of these Hebrew Israelite groups out here that like to sugarcoat shit and be PC. Nah, we're going to tell you how it's going to be. Man, if you don't repent, you Israelites don't repent, you're going to be judged here in America or wherever you wicked-ass Israelites dwell. All right? And that judgment is going to be severe and it's going to be personal. All right? Because you had all this time to repent, you had all this time to get right, and you niggas didn't do it. Let me go back to this verse in Ezekiel uh, 9 and 6 because it shows you there's no discrimination when it comes to these judgments of your Habashim Yashai, the Lord don't give a shit if you old, you young, you just got married, you just had a baby, you know, you you know, whatever, whatever, whatever your situation is, the Heavenly Father does not care. All right. If you were marked for judgment, hey, that's your judgment. All right. That's what a lot of these these these, these, these Christians don't understand. The Lord is on both sides, good and evil. He create he creates uh, 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 the light and darkness. He's on both sides. All right, he has the power to kill and to make alive. All right, verse six, slay utterly old, both maids and little children and women. It said women twice, both maid, a maid is a young woman. All right, and, and, uh, and little children and women, but come near any man that whom is the mark. That's that mark of exemption. All right, the, the, uh, a spiritual mark that's put upon you where, where the angels know not to put you to death. And began at my sanctuary, then they shall, then they began at the ancient men which were before the house. All right, so hey, the, the Heavenly Father is sending out judgment. Okay, judgment is going forth. All right, and, and, and you don't want to be on you want to be on the good side of judgment. You want to have a righteous judgment, meaning you get delivered, all right, uh, 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 out of this place, all right, on them chariots. That, that's where you want to be. All right, this is uh, the book of 2nd Ezra, it's back in the Apocrypha, chapter 7 and verse 20. For there be many that perish in this life because they despise the law of the Most High that is set before them. That's why the judgment is going to go out, because our people mainly, they despise the laws of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh They were told to get right. It's something in Jake's spirit that knows when they're going off, but they, they, they still do it anyway. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, the hearts of the sons of men is uh, are set to do uh, to do wickedness. All right, they think that just because you know they didn't done they didn't committed adultery and, and, and robbed this nigga and did this and they they good and they ain't got caught by the police. You ain't man. The police is the should be the, the last person you worried about. You better be worried about the how about Shimei was shot. All right, the judgment the heavenly father could send. Okay, because it, 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 the judgment that the Heavenly Father can send is, is not, yeah, it's going to be a judgment where you may get put to death, but that judgment, the, the Heavenly Father can can um, make that judgment last a long-ass time where, 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 where you're suffering, you're suffering mentally, all right? Where you're, 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 you're how's the song? You had a song by Ghetto Boys, your mind's playing tricks on you, okay? And where, where you think you're in good graces of the Heavenly Father, where the Heavenly Father may just be preserving you, for uh, for a judgment, for for a missile to catch a missile, or, or or to see the chariots and then get zapped, okay? Because you despise the way, you despise the law of the Lord. All right. For the Most High have not given have for the Most High have given straight commandment to such as came, what they should do to live, even as they came, and what they should observe to avoid punishment. The Heavenly Father gave you the giving you the instructions. All right, He sent the prophets to tell you what to do and how to get right. Okay, but you you you, you didn't hearken to the prophets. All right, it said to avoid punishment. 
And the ultimate punishment is the judgment from the Heavenly Father. But you niggas don't want to avoid punishment because you never think that punishment is going to come your way. All right, but well, punishment is coming in a great way to, to uh, 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 um, you know, shit, pretty much the whole world. But you Israelites are going to want, are the one that's going to catch the worst. Verse 22, nevertheless, they were not obedient unto him, but spake against him and imagined vain things and deceived themselves by their wicked deeds and said of the Most High that, it, that he is not and knew not his ways. But his laws have they despised and denied his covenant in his statutes. They have not been faithful and have not performed his works. That's, just, that's plain, man. That, that's Jake not wanting to get right. All right, Israelites, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Na Native Americans. Not, not, you know, just, 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 you know, living in the flesh. All right, doing things that appease in, 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 in your flesh. Okay, not things of the spirit. All right. You know, yeah, it, 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 think these things may feel good, but at the end of the day, you know, you 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 you're turning your back on the Lord. All right, you you you're in a worse case than 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 you were before. All right, let me go up to um, Second Ezra five and um, one. Yeah, I'm gonna go start here. Then, I'm gonna... nevertheless, as coming the tokens, behold, the day shall come that they which dwell on the earth shall be taken in a great number. All right? They that dwell on the earth shall be taken in a great number. That's, and then that great number is, is a lot of judgment, a lot of Israelites being put to death. And the way of truth shall be hidden, and the land shall be barren of faith. But iniquity shall increase above that which now thou seest, or that thou has heard long ago. So you see iniquity, sin upon sin, increasing. And mainly upon our people. Our people are, are become more wicked and wicked and wicked. All right. And, and they don't they think that all this shit that's going on with Jake, they don't they don't see any judgment. So, you know, it's all right. Okay. And Jake know deep down that it ain't all right. But you know, it's just like, hey, you know, what can you do? That you can't have that spirit, all right? You gotta call you you, you see Jake doing wickedness. You better call on your how about Shemal Shah because you know they about to get jacked up, all right? And you better repent so that you don't receive the same judgment. You be thinking like, damn, I, I, I didn't do this, and I didn't I didn't do this, and I didn't do this. Well, why did I get judged? Hey, you did something, all right? We ain't nobody innocent. Ain't no one innocent in this. And what scripture says in uh, the book of Job, whoever perished being innocent. No one has ever perished being innocent. We're all, we, we all have sin, all right? We're all worthy of death, all right? But once we come into the truth, you come into the light, you come into this knowledge and this wisdom, and that's when you, you your eyes are open, and you have a, a, a sense of uh, penitence, you feel sorry, you still feel sorrowful, all right, you feel guilty, you feel that, you know, damn, I fucked up, you know, man, you know, you know, uh, 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 Baba Kusha, you know, Lord, you know, or Salakia, you know, for, for, for my, for my sins, you know, uh, um, you know, don't, you know, please don't let me get judged with this world. OK, and, and you continue to repent because, you know, you know, all kind of, you know, we think of all type of wicked shit that we've done in our past and, and we just repent for that. All right. You continue to repent. You always repent. You always show a, 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 a sense of remorse to you. How about Shemiah Rashad? That he's given you mercy, you know, thus far so that he hasn't, you know, put you put you to death. All right. Um, let me go to Isaiah 65, 66, excuse me. Isaiah 66, and uh, I'm going to start at verse 15. Verse 15 and 16. It says, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. That's the Heavenly Father sending his son back in those chariots. He's sending his son, Yahawashah, in those chariots to render his anger. He's going to put his anger on his son, Yahawashah, to, 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 to judge this place. Okay? For by fire and by his sword, the Lord Yahweh plead with all flesh, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. All right, the slain. All right, you, you know what slain means? That, that means putting the flight, putting the death. Okay, it's going to be many. It's going to be a lot of Jakes out there that die. All right, and, and we're going to think, it's, damn, why are we getting jacked up? Yeah, the other nations, they're going to get it too. But you Israelites, all right, that's who the main focus on. That's who the main scope 
is on you Israelites because y'all niggas should know better. All right. Y'all should know that we shouldn't be going off and following after the ways of these heathens. All right. Um, let me get a few more scriptures. It's the book of Second Ezra, chapter uh, 16, and verse 22. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. And the others that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy. So you can't run from your judgment. You can't run from this judgment. You can't hide. You can't think I'm a um, you know, I'm gonna just go live off grid or some shit. Ain't no way. There's no way you're gonna run from this judgment. Um what is that scripture? Uh damn. Um, let me jump back a few chapters. Second, I mean Amos. Uh, I think it's Amos uh, seven. Let me look it up. Our right, here's uh, Amos five and nine. As if a man did flee from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into a house and leaned his hand on a wall, and a certain a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very dark and not brightness in it? All right, so so. That's that. That's you can't run from your judgment. You can't hide from your judgment. The Lord sees everything. The Lord, scripture says the Lord's eyes are ten, ten thousand times brighter than the sun. The Lord sees everything. Okay, so you you can't run from your your, your judgment. You can't run from these plagues. Okay, let me go back to uh, Second Ezra's uh, sixteen and verse twenty. I'll read twenty two again. For many of them that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine, and the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, and the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to comfort them. The earth shall be wasted, the city shall be cast down. So there's going to be dead bodies in the street, like like a dog, like like you go to the park and you see dog shit. That's how you're going to see dead bodies, but more, okay. And it's going, like I said, it's not going to be any uh, mortuaries, any corners to, to come pick up the bodies. They're just going to stay there. They're just going to you know stay there and stink and stink and decompose. In public, in public, wherever they, where they may lie. All right. I got one more verse I want to get. Uh, this is Second Ezra chapter uh, fifteen and verse twenty-six. For the Lord knoweth all them that sin against Him. Therefore, delivereth He them unto death and destruction. So the Lord knows. Well, like I said, we all sin, but the Lord knows in your heart if you're truly repenting and you're trying to get right. All right, and the Lord knows those that in their mind they don't give a fuck. Okay, the Lord, the Lord knows if you didn't give a shit until it was time to get right. The Lord knows everything. All right, so when that judgment comes, all right, when, when, when that great death comes, it ain't going to be no excuse. And I know it's be no excuse for me, for nobody, for no brother, for, for, for nobody. Okay, because we all knew about this truth. We all knew to repent. We all, everyone's going to know the name. All right, whether you believe it or not. Everyone's going to know what the MOTB is, whether you believe it or not. It's the Lord that gives you eyes to see these things. All right. So, um, you know, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying unto the elect. And I want to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Yahweh Shalom.